Hello, welcome to GNS3 Network. In this video, I will configure DHCP relay on Palo Alto Networks firewall. DHCP relay helps the DHCP client to reach DHCP server configured on a different network. I am having a Windows 7 machine and a DHCP server. Both are configured on a different network. Right? DHCP traffic must be allowed between zones in order to work DHCP relay. The DHCP traffic between Ethernet 1x3 and Ethernet 1x2 must be allowed to work the DHCP relay, right? So, once we configure the DHCP relay on Palo Alto Networks Firewall, our Windows 7 machine will get an IP address from this particular DHCP server, alright? Ethernet 1x3 is having the LAN zone and Ethernet 1x2 is having the DMG zone. Alright. Now move to the configuration part and do the configuration. This is a very fresh firewall. So first we will configure the zones, interfaces, then we will configure the DHP relay. Go to network, zones and define the zones. One is the LAN zone and other one is our DMG zone. Alright. Go to interface, select Ethernet 1 by 2 and configure it. It is connected to the DMG zone. The IP address of Ethernet 1 by 2 is 10 10 10 1 slash 24. Configure Ethernet 1 by 3. Select interface type as layer 3. Define the virtual router. The zone will be the LAN. The IP address of the LAN interface will be 192.168.50.1.24. Now move to the DHCP relay configuration. Click on DHCP. Select DHCP relay. Click on add. Select your LAN interface. Define one or more DHCP server. Here in my case, the DHCP server is 10.10.10. 10, 10. 90 all right click on ok now move to policy and configure a security policy click on add allow traffic source will be LAN Destination will be DMG. Application will be DHCP. And the action will be allow. Click on OK. That's it. Now to make the changes, I am doing the commit. Let me bring the Windows 7 machine to validate whether this configuration is working fine or not. This is my Windows 7 machine configured on EVNG. This interface is connected with Palo Alto Networks firewall. Currently it is disabled and I would like to show you the DHCP settings. So it will get an automatic IP address and DNS settings from a DHCP server, right? Let me enable it and wait. So, this is connected to a network. Let's check the configuration. So, I got an IP that is 192.168.50.2 
and the subnet mask is slash 24 and uh, default gateway 50.1 you can notice the ip 192.168.50.1 is configured on our Palo Alto networks firewall we got the dns server as well and the last thing you can notice the dhcp server here the dhcp server is 10 10 10 90 which we define in dhcp relay configuration on Palo Alto networks firewall now go back to Palo Alto networks firewall I would like to show you some logs so you can see this log the application DHCP and the source is the my LAN interface IP not the Windows 7 IP because that particular machine don't have any IP address 192.168.50.1 that is configured on our LAN interface this request on behalf of particular uh, Windows 7 machine to the D, uh, DHCP that's that is 10 10 90 on particular port UDP 67 that traffic is being allowed through allowed traffic rule that we created right so in this way we got an IP address from the DHCP server configured on DMG please like this video and share this video and please do subscribe my youtube channel thank you